All right. We're going to be doing this is this is going to be my review of uh Mortal Kombat 1 Chaos Reigns. Strap in. And for a bumpy ride. Now, um so we're going to go sort of go through it piece by piece. Um I will say that and I'll, and I'll point out all the stuff that you actually have to pay for and the stuff that you actually don't. Uh, so, for example, getting this new background um, is actually uh, part of just like the free update, you know, for the whole package, whether you got the expansion or not, which is pretty cool. You can actually swap between the two. They also added in over here, uh, you've got Towers of Time, right, um, which was in MK11 which are randomized towers. We're going to go into that uh, in a few moments, right? Because it's probably my favorite part that they've done with this whole thing. And again, it was free as well, right? Animalities were free as well, okay? So every single character, including DLC characters, uh, were given an animality, all right? So first and foremost, um, we'll go in, I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way. Oh, no, we'll go in here because I can show you I can showcase the full mastery of these characters anyway, right? Um, so, let's put my noggin up here out of the way just for a moment. So, the three DLC characters that they added in, obviously, is Noob, Cybot, Cyrax, Gender Swapped, and then, of course, Sector as well. Uh, I've unlocked full masteries for these characters as well. So, it showcases, like, exactly, like, you know, all the different colors that you can actually get for each one of these characters. Some of them are pretty good, like I do like, and I hope we get more, like obviously the, the you know, the monster energy drink color there actually changes, which is pretty cool. Most of the gear pieces uh, for Noob Slowbot are pretty good, apart from his Pirates of the Caribbean hat. Right, most of the, the gear pieces, which is essentially his hood and mask, are actually pretty good. I mean, that, that looks really, really cool. That looks cool. You know, so I'm fairly happy, um, you know, with what they've done uh, in regards to Noob with that. Even and, and even though despite the gender swap, I will state, right, that at the very least, like the gear pieces for the robots, like for the headpiece, so it's, it's all the, you know, the actual mask itself. Some of those colors are hideous, man. Like, is somebody colorblind at Netherrealm? Anyway, right, so now you've got like, so you some of the, some of these are like, this is like if it was like made in the 1940s or something, right, some of these are okay, um, never using that, uh, or that, so you got the classic one in there, both the, both the, uh, the cybernetic ninjas or, or now like, you know, Iron Man suit ninjas have these particular gear pieces, most of these are okay, most of these, you know, most of these are fairly, you know, acceptable colors um, and and looks as well for these characters. So um, God, some of these are just hitting it. That's probably like one of the best ones uh, for Sector as well. All right, that one's pretty base too. I like that one. All right, that one's like I don't know. Yeah, some of these got vision problems. Anyway, um, so. Yeah, some of the samurai ones aren't too bad. I think I think I've, like Sector had more. <clears throat> Sector had a better range of, of headpieces than um, than Cyrax did. There's the classic one there as well. Okay, even that one's not too bad because at least you can you know probably covering a face up. <laughs> anyway, right. So that's the three characters, and uh, we'll have a we'll jump into practice just quickly just to showcase what these characters are like just briefly um because their move sets aren't too bad like they're not, they're not they're not too shabby right um so and we'll just we'll load up them yep whatever whatever also yeah this is actually a good point too um so we get four new stages we get the chaosium two different variations uh we get the night market two different variations we get the maze with two different variations and Havoc Citadel with two different variations. We also get uh, the Corrupted Forest. We get a fog version as well. 
Uh, we get the Great Hall that has damaged and night versions too. Uh, I think, uh, duh, 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 no, that was already there. So, Fire Temple is a damaged version. Uh, I'm just trying to see if there's any, were there any others that they did? The Gateway, we got a Chaos version as well. Uh, and that's it, right? So let's, uh, let's just choose a stage. We'll jump in and, uh, and have a looky. I will do a separate review. I've already done a review of all the stages for Mortal Kombat 1 so far. Um, so you can check that out on the channel. And, uh, I'll do a follow-up video, which will just be reviewing these stages that have been added in, uh, for this. So Noob, Noob Saibot is, is functional in on himself. Like, he's, he's a great character. There's, there's no, like, real issue with him at all, right? Um, I think he's a lot of fun, you know? Um, but ultimately, um, you know, it's just... <laughs> I don't know, man, like, it, it's... Some of these character designs are really, really, really good. Like, like, like Noob Saibot does look really good, right? And this is on his classic Ultimate MK3 outfit with the, the worst gear piece you can imagine, right? Um, but he looks great. And the stages, by the way, the stage looks really good too, right? His moveset's really cool. He can uh, add himself a buff where he can get sort of like access to exclusive stuff. And then once that's gone, it's gone for the whole fight. But ultimately, um, they've done a good job. They've done a good job with all three DLC characters. The problem is, though, is that they didn't need to gender swap them. Right? They didn't gender swap, you know, Scorpion and Sub-Zero when we had cameo versions of them. We know why they did it, but that's, you know, we talked about that at length. Right? Um, so, you know, it's just... It was just like, sort of like a, you know, a, a needless change that they made to the game, right? Uh, we'll go to the night market at night. Amazing, isn't it? Right? They handle fine, but again, you guys know my position, you know, like literally, you know, they got like touch of death type combos in this game, right? Where you can literally just, you know, <laughs> just sit back and wait while somebody takes off half your health, if not more, right? So that, that, that in itself is like an issue for me as well, right? She does have sort of like a, a classic moves, like, uh, what's a, what's a, yeah, she's got her bombs and stuff, right? Which is fine. Um, she's got a net if it's enhanced. So like the move sets again, like the, the special moves are fine, right? It's just, you, you didn't need to swap them. Like you didn't need to do that. Like it was just completely unnecessary. Uh, good looking stage too, by the way, very, you know, very dark, very foreboding, very Mortal Kombat like. I have said before that at the very least, you know, this expansion's existence has made Mortal Kombat feel at least a lot more Mortal Kombat feeling, right? It actually does feel, you know, like we're getting that dark, you know, foreboding type of feeling of Mortal Kombat, right? Just us light up Sector, try, try another stage and have a looky. Um... Because we obviously got a last, <clears throat> uh, an invasion season, which I believe, um, is, is going to be, I think, I think it's going to be the last invasions season that we actually get. I think it is because normally when you finish an invasion season, you get a preview for the next one, like coming soon or whatever, or coming next. <clears throat> and, uh, and yeah. You know, we actually don't have that at all, right? So, so yeah, like Sector is fine as well. Um, you know, she doesn't she doesn't have a teleport uppercut like normal Sector does, uh, but instead she's kind of got like this rocket slam thing as well, which is you know it's fine. Like again, I'm not against like the special moves. Um, they've done they've done a good job. Again, I prefer special moves. I don't care about doing like gigantic combos. You know, I just I kind of like just seeing what all the tools the character has. Um, by the way, great outfit for Tanya. She actually kind of doesn't look offensive at all, right? Um, but yeah, no, I, um, I think, uh, I think they did a good job, but for the price of the expansion, it was way too much. Like, way, way too much, right? So, if you come into the campaign part, you'll notice they move things around too. They did have classic up in, I think... I don't know in the camp. Where they had they had, you know what? I can't even remember the old menu. That's how much I care about. But they have shuffled things around. 
if you go into the story, you got the original story part one, part two, which is Chaos Reigns, obviously. They reckon we're still getting more support, supposedly. Uh, I haven't done, I actually haven't done any of this invasions at all, right? Um, and I've maxed out my invasions level just by playing Towers of Time, right? Also, just to show you quickly, um, the, this background is also different. You can change it to the original background and look as well. But they actually have changed this, so this feels at least at least a little bit more Mortal kombat -y, You know, than what we got before, where it was just way too clean and nice, right? Um, so I'm glad that's, that's something they've done. They also added in... Like, imagine waiting a whole year just to give us a glorified leaderboard for invasions. Right? Well, not, sorry, not invasions, but the seasons. I say invasions because of that, right? So let's move my noggin down here. Okay. So this is, this is, by the way, this is what we waited a whole year for. This. This is the Warrior Shrine. Right? So every sing, you can go through every single season, right? To see who's, like, maxed out for each one. But... These these statues don't change, man. Like it's not it's not like the statue is representative of the character that they actually was winning on, right? For the invasions, right? It's a glorified leaderboard. We wait a whole year for this. This is a disgrace. Like this is this is just like this is woeful. I mean, there's free, and then like saying, well, at least I can eat out the garbage can free. You know what I'm saying? Like this is just terrible absolutely terrible right so anyway so we do get a new combat league as well um i don't care i have played absolutely nothing online i have not played a single casual or combat league at all ever since towers of time came out and i'll explain that you know in a bit right um but and they added in like online practice as well again why can't they just like other fighting games when you choose your character like to fight or, or whatever at the very least if you go to like queue up for any of the online modes allow us to go into a stage and just go into a practice mode and just bum around while we're waiting this is boring we're still just looking at the background every other fighting game out there is leaving it for dead like for dead right so let's jump into the store right uh, and just to talk quickly about the story, because the Chaos Reign story was by and large just terrible. Absolutely terrible, right? Um, the only part that I actually liked was any parts that were, was involving Tanya and Rain, right? They made Tanya amazing, they made Rain amazing, and that's because they weren't part of this current timeline, they were part of an alternate timeline, right? Um, and, you know, this was... It was the best part of Chaos Reigns. It actually sucked that Rain got squished. Because I really wish that we actually got that. Now, I haven't unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. Because um, I'm still, as you can see, all the coin that you can see over there. I haven't played any invasions. I've got a maxed out 30 level for invasions. And the coins that you can see over there currently. As well as I've already bought some of the gear pieces through this store. Um, just by playing Towers of Time. Right? But what they did was, is that they brought in a whole bunch of brutalities that you can now access by, you know, grinding up this currency, right? And so what they've done, some, some of them, like, you know, again, you know, you might get in uh, some gear pieces like here with Shang or like, a, like an outfit or whatever, that's fine. Um, you know, th there's not a, like, and it's pretty expensive, like these brutalities cost a lot. Um, you know, it's a lot of money, you know, it's a lot of money, you know, um, you know, when it comes to that sort of thing. So again, you know, like, you know, that's not too bad. Uh, and this is all themed around, obviously the, uh, season of, what's it called? Season of Dark Dragon? Is that what it's called? Right. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Okay. All right. So I think I've covered, yeah, the story, the story was largely forgettable. Very poor, very poor ending. They very much have basically tried to copy Marvel with their storytelling, and it's failing. And it's failing because they only have one writer now doing it. 
right? Nobody's keeping them in check. Now, this is the best part. Towers of Time was a welcome addition. I think this is the reason why we're probably not going to get any more invasions anymore, right? Um, because I think that, uh, and they'll probably put invasions on repeat, but what they'll do, I think, is that what I would prefer, and this is probably my only negative, is that I wish that every single tower here gave you a reward, right? Every single tower in here should give you a reward, right? A uh, gear piece or a color palette, it all changes randomly, so that way you just keep coming in and checking all the time. You know, it gives you something to, you know, to work towards or whatever. That's what you should do. Now, what they have done since launch, you'll notice that every time I highlight a tower, it tells you something about a points system, right? So if you're doing the seasonal tower, that recently was 50, right? Now it's dropped down to 30. That's always, I think that was, yeah, that's always been on 25, 20 points, right? Um, and maybe they dropped it down because maybe people were farming it too much. You, you can see that I have, right? Um, because again, you access everything. Let me just move this up uh, for a second. You access everything in invasions as if you would, if you're playing invasions in the Towers of Time, right? You can come in and change your character just like in invasions. You can put all your points in wherever you want. I, I always put them in attack. That's why I steamroll stuff because I'm just destroying stuff like completely and the reason why I have so many coins or, or whatever they're called over there is because I just sell all the crap I come into the shop right I come in and I just sell it all right and I make bank and the reason why you need that currency is for this tower here <clears throat> there's 2500 crowns to uh, and apparently you have to use the character that you want to get the pallet for right that's what I've read online, maybe somebody can confirm that. But basically, you choose a character, say for example for me, I chose Reiko. If there's a seasonal palette that I missed out on, then when I get to the end of that fight, I'll unlock that, like, a random palette that I've missed out on, right, from one of the seasons. Now that also could include Combat League stuff as well. That could include Combat League stuff, right? Because I have a feeling too that this might also incorporate Combat League rewards either from previous seasons or whatever, right? Now obviously you can see too, a lot of these towers have different modifiers and things like that. You also got a forge, but nobody, gives, nobody cares about that. What they've done with this, with this, and the reason why they got the point system, they didn't have it when it first launched. This is only in recent change. If you press start on your controller, you actually have in here, uh, uh, towers of time, like it's a, a challenge system, if you will. Now. Before, you could only acquire points by doing easy, hard, or the weekly challenges, right? So you can see here, I've got to do 30 animalities, and I'll get 75 dragon crystals. So it should be more than that, to be perfectly honest, because it's only once every two weeks. Uh, but at least, you know, maybe they'll improve that. Uh, you've got different hard challenges. Now, if you complete an easy challenge or a hard challenge, it'll swap to a new one, right? So it's not like you only do one hard challenge in a 13 or, or like or you know like a day's period you actually they'll actually swap out and put in another one so you can literally farm up points here you can obviously see my current points here now the way this works is that obviously the community is grinding up the points if they're doing towers of time if they start if the community on a whole starts earning more points than what you currently have your position will start to drop down so I, I encourage everyone if you are into this to sort of get this gear because you can see also it gives you seasonal currency as well uh, with 2500 <clears throat> and you this is all the current gear like these the Raiden pallet there for example um, I think that was in a seasonal tower right you couldn't get it anywhere else right but now you can just by doing this method and this is every two weeks so what you do is Right, you just come in, you look at each tower, and you go, oh, that's enough points and whatever, right? So if you do the hard towers, you know, it's 25 points for that one, 20 points for that one, right? And then, you, you know, you can also earn points in here as well. So it's like, oh, okay, well, if I do two hit air combos five times, I'm going to get three points. If I do a six hit air combo, I'll get uh, seven points if I do it 15 times, right? So, uh, the only thing that doesn't reset it, like swap out for something else, is the weekly challenge. So, easy and hard, unless they've changed that since I've last done it. 
uh, will swap out with, with continual ones. The weekly challenge, once you've done it, it's locked out until like the two weeks is up, right? Um, so actually, weekly challenge. This was every two, oh, no, no, yeah, no, that's, no, sorry, yeah, my bad. That is the weekly challenge. It's every two weeks that the, the actual, this list stays up, right? My bad, I just had a brain fart. Anyway, now, this is all I've done, right? You've even got a, a normal arcade ladder, and I've said this in a previous video, but when you, because your character's OP, because you, if you've got, like, max level, and like I've got, like, I've got all my points in these characters, right? like in, in the attack. So if I go onto the arcade ladder, right, I'm just steamrolling stuff, like with just standard attacks. So if there's some ar arcade endings you haven't seen yet, or you just wanna, you know, check out your favorite arcade, arcade ending, you don't have to go through the classic towers. You can actually come in here and just face roll these fights just to get to the ending, if that's, if that's what you wanna do, right? But it's a good way, like if you haven't, you know, if you haven't gone through, um, you know, there we go, done. <laughs> Easy, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just very... So in that regard, I actually think that that was kind of cool. Because I know a lot of people go, well, why would you have an arcade tower there? We, you know, we've got classic towers, what do we need that for? Well, it's because if you're sitting in towers of time, and you're farming stuff up, then, you know, at least that way, you know, if, you, if you're waiting for something else or whatever, you can do that, right? So, um, so Towers of Time is probably one of the biggest positives that has come into the game since launch. To be perfectly honest, it's probably the best thing. I haven't touched online at all. I'm just in here, just mucking around with different stuff. <clears throat> And, uh, and just enjoying it. Obviously, the different colors at the top of these tower also indicate difficulty as well. So you've got easy, medium, and hard. All right, your seasonal arcade, and of course, your legacy towers. Um, so, you know, this is probably the best part of, you know, the whole Chaos Reigns experience. But in saying that, though, okay, it was free. Right? You didn't need it. Didn't need it at all, okay? You get Titan Battles still coming in. I think the recent one was Kung Lao, you know, in Invasions as well. I don't know, I don't think he's still there because that's usually, that's only a timed event. As you can see, I haven't even done it because again, Invasions is just Invasions. It's the same grind. You just go through all this needless rubbish, right? It's still got, uh, oh sorry, well it's not still got, it's still got the Middle Mesa, but they rechained, like they renamed it to Towers of Time. Much better graphic, it looks really cool there, to be honest. Um, I don't know what the hell that for, anyway. Right, so, but you still have to go through all of these different levels, and then eventually get to the last boss. I'll get around to doing it at some point, um, but it's just woeful. Now, I will also give another positive, too. The fact that when you do play through the story, there are a lot of costumes, like like you know or skins that you actually unlock as part of playing the story right we didn't have that in Mortal Kombat 1 main story but I and I appreciate that in this you do so for example that Tanya skin that I saw that you saw before that was unlocked by playing you know the story right or the Shang Tsung you know, there's, just, there's a Shang Tsung one that makes it look like some it looks like an overlord from, a, from like a bad uh, kung fu movie it's pretty it's pretty, um, it's pretty crazy looking, actually. I kind of like it, but I'll show you what it looks like, right? Uh, this thing here, man, he looks, he looks nuts. He looks like a bad guy, you know, with the facial hair and stuff. He looks like, like a real bad guy from an old, like, kung fu movie or whatever, right? Um, so that's pretty cool, right? So a lot of the, a lot of the, they, they did introduce a lot of skins that you could unlock by playing through the story and finishing the story. And I appreciate that. I do. Because it means it gives you some incentive to actually play through it. And it wasn't just one or two. It was a bunch. It was a whole lot that we could unlock. And that was very cool. So, but otherwise, <clears throat> just to round out, the price wasn't worth it. Like, the price, it should have been half of that. Or at least three quarters of that. Um, because a lot of the cool stuff 
Oh, that's right. Yeah, let me just quickly show you, uh, like, the animalities as well. Because, um, every, like I said, every single character got animalities. Um, so I'll just, I'll just do that. I'll just show you an animality. Right, we'll go... Um, We'll go Scorpies because that's like his like it's it's a harken back to his MK4 standard fatality, right? Uh, and we'll choose what did we choose? We didn't choose I don't think that one. We'll choose that one now. So they're good, like they look good, but again, it's just a cutscene. You know what I mean? Like you do the move, you sit back, and it's just you know it's just a cutscene, right? And you come in, they're all free, um, and they're all very easy to do, and they look great. Like don't get you know, they, they do look good. Um, I'm still trying to figure out why they gave an animality to Reptile that's a plant. I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, right? Um, but anyway, so yeah. So, you know, it is just a cutscene that you activate. Um, and I'm, yeah, it's free. <clears throat> what I would prefer uh, is that we actually get stage fatalities. Right, we have a whole bunch of really wonderful stages in this game. The stages I've said since day one look amazing, but there's no lethality to them. Right, we need to know that at the end of the fight, we can then you know throw them into the background, have some you know creature tear them to pieces or or something like that. We need the stages to be fixed, you know, in that regard. But um, yeah, the price shouldn't have been way as high as it is, um, despite what we got. Most of the really cool stuff was free. Uh, in the game and Yeah, hopefully if they continue to make content moving forward. I hope they look at this pricing model and make it cheaper um, Especially for those who already own the game too. It's not like we got a discount for owning the original game No, we paid almost the same price as the main game with far less content right so That's something to uh, to look into um, You know if you are interested in getting it Put it on your wish list, wait for a sale. <clears throat> Hunt around for a key, wait for or wait for a sale, right? Because um, it is quite a lot, and all the cool stuff, like I said, is free, like the animalities, Towers of Time. You know, obviously the seasonal stuff is free as well. So, you know, um, but yeah. It's just it's very underwhelming, very disappointing um, in that regard. And uh, I really hope that they do learn their lesson. Uh, from this I'd love to know what their sales are for the expansion Because uh, I I can't imagine them being high at all. So anyway guys, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time